Hey y'all, it's me, Pretty Witty 77, and today I'm coming to you guys with a cool hair video. So everybody knows, well I'm pretty sure you heard by now, a way to stop your hair from shedding is by tea rinses. Now, for years, I've, I've had a tea, black tea rinse video, but for years, um, black tea rinse has been all I've known. Um, well, all I've tried, you know, with the tea rinses or whatever. So lately, um, I've just been wanting to try something new. So then I fell into the green tea. So both of the teas are very beneficial, but people have their own opinions about each. So I've decided to experiment with both. So here's how it went down both times. I had about two cups of water and I brought it to a boil. I used 10 tea bags and once my water was boiling, then I removed it and I placed the tea bags in the water. Um, I, left the, I left the tea bags in for about 10 to uh, 15 minutes actually and then I removed it. I transferred the tea to a um, spray bottle and I basically shampooed my hair and went to work. So after I shampooed my hair, I spritzed the tea on my hair, mainly uh, focusing on the scalp. And I plastic bagged my hair. I went under the dryer for about 15 to 20 minutes. After I got from under the dryer, I then placed oils uh, and conditioner on my hair. Uh, the oils I used were olive oil, coconut oil, and avocado oil in my favorite deep conditioner if you wonder what that is i definitely leave the, the link for that video in the description box but i did this with the black tea rinse and the green tea rinse and uh, i can't say there was a difference in the way that my hair felt um the black tea of course tea anyways always cap i use always use the caffeinated one it creates a really dry feeling of your hair so that's why um after I applied the conditioner, after I set on the dryer with the tea in it, only I applied the conditioner on top of it and set back under the dryer for another 15 to 20 minutes, kind of like to revitalize your hair, to get it back soft, and to just get and to just get rid of that ugh dry feeling. But like I said, I did see a difference with the black tea. I feel like it was more drying to my hair. Um. Yeah, um, even if I shampooed it out um, each time and just, I could, I feel like I could get the life of my hair back uh, just with that process of uh, shampooing my hair and then co-washing it just to add a little bit of moisture to it as well. Yeah, with the green tea. I mean, I've been doing black tea rinse for so long, but with the green tea, I was actually surprised because I actually know um how black tea makes my hair feel but i also know the steps to take that you can take to get it back to life um it was like i skipped a step with the green tea because like the for one thing the black tea can stain and if you have like lightly colored hair i would recommend you doing the black tea rinse because it can tint your hair the uh, color which you really can't see unless you're in the sun but with the green tea it was less mess in the shower when i rinsed it out it kind of looked normal the water you know draining just not like cloudy dirty brown but i don't know i just i think i'm falling in love with the green tea uh the shedding uh basically was the same little to no shedding at all so um i actually just did a green tea rinse today and this is the air dry result um my hair is soft it still feels like my hair and yeah there you have it um if there's also other teas that you can use for your hair to um uh slow down the shedding process you cannot stop your hair from shedding guys so don't even try it but i really like the results of the green tea ring that pretty much concludes this video make sure you comment like and subscribe to my channel um and leave in the comment section have you tried any other kind of tea what is your opinion on these tea rinses as always thank you ladies so much for watching and you guys have a blessed day